Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to slice and dice your power by reports by dates, maybe narrowing your sales dashboard to just a specific year or zooming in on that one busy month, today's tutorial is exactly for you. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to add a powerful timeline slicer to your power by project, so you can filter your data by year, month, week, or even down to the day. By the end of this video, you'll know how to install it, set it up with your own data and customize it so it really fits your report's needs. Let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing you want to do is look for additional visuals that aren't already included in Power BI by default. To do this, head to the Get More Visuals option that's typically found over in the Visualizations pane. Think of it as visiting the Power BI App Store where you can pick and install new tools to supercharge your reports. Type Timeline Slicer into that search box and it'll pop right up. Go ahead and select that, then click Add. Power BI will import this visual for you, and don't worry if it takes a few seconds, sometimes it just needs a moment to load. Once you've added the timeline slicer, you'll see its icon alongside your standard charts and visuals. Simply click it to add the timeline slicer to your report canvas. This will create a placeholder where you can start hooking it up to your data. Now the next step is connecting your timeline slicer to your date data. Click on the timeline visual you've just drawn on your canvas so it's selected. Then drag and drop your date field, the column from your dataset that contains the date information, right into the timeline's designated area. It might be called something like order date or transaction date, depending on your data. As soon as you link it, you'll notice the slicer transforms, and at the top you'll see the granularity options appear. Year, quarter, month, week, and day. This is where the magic happens. You can now interactively filter your report, letting users dig into their data as broadly or as narrowly as they need maybe to focus on quarterly trends or to troubleshoot what happened during a specific week. But the timeline slicer isn't just functional, you can really make it your own. With the slicer selected, head over to the format panel. This is the paint roller icon. Here, you'll find a whole suite of customization options. One setting you'll spot is force selection. Turning that on means a user must always have a period selected, avoiding any blank or unfiltered states, which can be useful for keeping your dashboards tidy and consistent. You'll also find things like week determination, where you can decide whether weeks start on Sunday or Monday, really important if your business follows a specific calendar. Need to adjust for a fiscal year instead of a calendar year. That's right here too, you can tweak details like range headers, the appearance of the date cells, and much more. If you're feeling creative, dive into the cells section, you can actually change the colors of the timeline, making it blend seamlessly or even pop out from the rest of your report. There are loads of options, so feel free to play around and see what fits your style. Once you're happy with how everything looks and feels, simply click outside the timeline to lock in your changes. That's it. Your timeline slicer is now live and ready to go, helping viewers effortlessly filter and explore the data in your report. I hope this helps you unlock even more power and flexibility in your power by dashboards. If you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button. Drop a comment if you have any questions or want to share how you're using the Timeline Slicer, and don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on Power by Guides. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.